Hey guys, I'm Pixel Dan, and this is a review of the G.I. Joe Retaliation, Joe Colton. This is a figure that I knew that I wanted to get long before it was actually revealed. As soon as I realized that Bruce Willis was in G.I. Joe, I started drooling at the thought of getting a Bruce Willis G.I. Joe action figure. And here he is, Joe Colton is hitting store shelves right now, so let's take a look at him. The original G.I. Joe comes packaged on the new Retaliation Style Blister Card, which just features those movie images of both Roadblock and Snake Eyes up at the top of the packaging. The back of that box shows off some different poses for Joe, along with all of his accessories and some of the other figures that are hitting store shelves now. Alright, so let's go ahead and take a look at Joe outside of the packaging. I think the first thing I have to gravitate to is the face sculpt. Now, overall, I think the face sculpt is pretty decent. It's a pretty good likeness of Bruce Willis. It's not perfect, but you definitely can tell that it is Bruce Willis when you look at it. The big problem is the paint job. Unfortunately, Joe Colton here is a little cross-eyed. And I think that this is a problem across the board on all of the Joe Colton figures because everyone that I've seen so far has been cross-eyed like this. So unfortunately, we got a botched paint job on the Joe Colton eyes, which seems to be on every one of these figures. If that was fixed, I think it would look even more like Bruce Willis. But the fact that the only thing you can really stare at is those crossed eyes, it's a little bit of a letdown. The paint job on the rest of the figure is pretty decent. The white shirt is just kind of painted on there, uh, but he does have some nice folds in the sleeves and lower part of the shirt. You can see that he's kind of got the green pants on, the camoed pants. So all of that looks pretty nice. It's a pretty basic paint job, but it is nice and clean everywhere else. He's also got some really cool details on the little uh, wristwatch or bracelet that he's wearing there. You can see it's kind of got this red, white, and blue color scheme, so that's pretty cool. He also has this little removable gun holster that he's got strapped across his shoulders there. So you can take that off if you want to, or you can leave it on. The only thing that I don't like about it is the fact that the gun that's in the holster is molded in place. So I almost don't understand the point of having this included if we can't even holster any of the accessories that he comes with. Now as far as the articulation goes, it is very good on this figure. It's up to standards with the modern G.I. Joe action figures. The head is on a ball joint so it can move left and right and kind of roll around there. You got nice ball joints at the shoulders for a good range of movement. Swivels above the elbow as well as an elbow bend. You got swivels at the wrist and the left wrist even has a hinge joint on it. You got the nice little rocker at the torso there so you can move them side to side and kind of roll them around. You got the nice G.I. Joe style hinge joints there at the thigh so the legs can move outwards, forwards, backwards. You got double jointed knees, swivels at the ankles, as well as regular ankle joints. So you should be able to get some good posing out of Joe here, and he does come with a good amount of accessories so you can really arm him up to help you with those poses. So let's take a look at the different accessories he has here. He's loaded with them. First of all, he comes with three different guns. He's got two style handguns and a larger shotgun type weapon. Both of his hands are molded with trigger fingers in place, so you can put any of these guns in either one of his hands, and you should be able to get some great poses out of all of them. Now I'm going to jump back once again and say that I really wish that he had that working holster on his strap because it would have been nice if we could actually holster the smaller pistol here. That way he can hold on to every one of his weapons at the same time in some form. But because he doesn't have a holster, you're always left with at least one gun just kind of laying off to the side. Now those three guns aren't the only accessories he includes because he also comes with the larger action feature injected kid friendly weapon. <laughs> Just like with the Duke figure we've already taken a look at in this line, he comes with the really large missile launcher type weapon. Now it's huge, it's goofy, it's overly big, but this is meant to be kind of the play factor for kids who are picking up these figures because they like the movie. So it's just something we've got to live with. It's that same type of gun that kind of features the pull apart feature, so you can pull it apart and just have the little orange Gatling type gun, or you can clip on that really large bazooka type thing on top. It includes this blue rip cord, so when you pull that through, it actually fires off four projectile missiles. It's really big, he doesn't hold on to it very well, so it's definitely not something you're really going to want to pose with the figure, but the kids might enjoy playing with it. 
Luckily, he includes all those other accessories, so collectors don't really need to worry about this. So there you go, guys. There's a look at Joe Colton, the original G.I. Joe, and our first ever Bruce Willis action figure in the G.I. Joe toy line. Now, I will say he's still a pretty good action figure, but the biggest flaw is that paint job on his face. I really wish those eyes were a little less crooked because I think that would have added to the overall look of the figure much better. But if you're a fan of Bruce Willis, you're a fan of G.I. Joe, you enjoyed the film, I still say this one is worth picking up. He's still a pretty nice figure overall, he's got good articulation, he's got some really cool accessories, and maybe if you're talented enough, you might be able to correct those eyes and make him look even better than he is. Joe Colton is starting to hit store shelves right now as part of the G.I. Joe Retaliation toy line, so happy hunting, and until next time.